two things that concern me with Zingbao military stuff. One is that it would end up like a T-92 tank. Oh, that dang tank. And second of all, is when they actually send you a second part of the manual that is like their mistakes that they made from the first manual. This is like a poster, man. Look at this thing. Sheesh. I was like, oh man, this thing is gonna suck. Look at this thing, you guys. Look. I know you guys are looking at this right now going, holy sh This is every kid's dream come true. Every boy on the block will wanna buy this thing, man. Look at that. You hear the sound of that? It's called happiness. You guys, this thing is beautiful. Look at this. And it's not a T-92 tank. Welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty, and I'm Scotty. Unfortunately, Sean and I keep missing each other, so Sean couldn't sit here with me to do this, so I had to do the research and find out more information about this. But he will be back, because we have a couple tanks to review for you guys. So this is Zingbo's Across the Battlefield series, the amphibious transport ship, or LCAC, or landing craft air cushion. That's what it's based off anyway. XB06019, 3,006 pieces. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's put this down. Oh, first of all, it's massive. Man, one of you guys ordered this from my store and I saw the package come in. I'm like, what is that? Why is it so big? So I got one for myself and I'm like, oh, this thing is crazy. This thing was so much fun to build. I had no issues. I mean, minor, minor issues. We'll see that along the way, but this thing is filled with detail. Even though it is kind of bare here in the middle, I had a smile on my face building this the whole time. First of all, this thing is on wheels and it does roll. As you see, look, it's rolling pretty good. Now check it out here, but I turn it here so you can see on that camera. Look, as the wheels move, so do the props. Look at that, go faster. Yeah, that is awesome, man. Thank you, Zingbao, for not using rubber pieces. Man, I was terrified thinking they're gonna use rubber pieces on this and it's gonna suck. And please don't do that. And they didn't, they used plastic and I'm totally fine with that. Just a quick heads up, this little piece right here in the corner, these might pop off on you as you're putting it together. It's one of those things you just kind of got to stick with it. And then after everything comes together, it'll hold in place. So be patient with this part. The best part about this build is that everything feels brick built. It doesn't feel like a big piece of plastic or that they were cheating. There was some instances here, if I rotate this to show you guys, a little runway in the middle. Well, I don't know, okay, pavement, road, whatever. The road, this thing is so big. We'll just call that a road. The road in the middle. Yeah, they use these plastic pieces here and it looks like over time, if you put it in heat, they may flex. I kind of wish it was fully brick built and then just use like one by two tiles or one by four tiles to kind of cover that up. But hey, it's cool. It's printed. Everything on here is printed. No stickers. Thank you. Thank you. Plus 10 for them. This is really cool. You can rotate this piece. You gotta hold it down pretty tight so you don't break, pull it off. It doesn't really break off. But you can put this flap down like that and check this out. You ready for this? You ready? Yeah, you slide this out like that. Nice and gentle. Don't be rough. Comes down like a ramp and the top piece here can bend down and it can fold there like that. Look at that, beautiful. Beautiful, you can put any vehicle on here. Let me get a vehicle. Here, I got this nasty looking thing from Sluban. But just give you an idea. Look at that. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool, man. So that works fine. If you want to put it back, you have to kind of lift this flap up a bit. Oh, if I can get to it there. Straighten this one out. Yeah, I got it. It is a little bit tricky putting this last platform together. Be careful trying to get that in there. That's the only thing about it. This part is the trickiest part. And that's actually the last part of the build anyway. We're going over here. I guess this is the tower where you control this hovercraft. I love that silver shiny kind of texture they have on the bricks. It's really cool. They got the boy there on the front and look on the side, they got little joysticks and clear tiles. I don't know what those are, antennas and gadgets and radars. Even along the top, they have a tank here. There is a print here on the side. It's kind of faint, it's hard to see. At least it's a print. It's a 710 Shark. And here, you ready for this? This is actually really cool, yeah? Check that out. Yeah, you can go inside there. What's inside there? I gotta look inside. You got a staircase that goes up there, and you got the control panels there. Those are all prints. You got the seat there. There's so much detail just in that little room. On the other side, there is a door, and it can open and close. It was actually really easy to open and close until I started putting it all together. It's a little bit tough to open up and close now unless I shift some bricks around. And move on to this thing. I have no idea what this is. I guess that's part of the engine. Look at that. Now, this has a lot of like technic pieces and contraption. Be really gentle. Just take your time. 
It took me a couple times to get it right, but it works just fine. So you got this thing here. I'm missing the piece right in the front, the little spear shape looking piece. Man, it's okay, it's a small piece. This is a huge set. So I'm guessing this is a wind anemometer, you know, it's gauging the wind speed. It's supposed to rotate, but it's just a display piece here. You got another boy here, some railings and this machine. I have no idea what that is. Fire extinguisher there. This is like the engine compartment. They generate all the air that gives you lift. I just took that from a YouTube video. It's called a lift fan module. It has lift and some propulsions. It's like the hydraulic system and all that kind of stuff. It repeats on both sides. You know, these parts are loose. But if you watch on the YouTube videos, these things are like swiveling all over the place. So that's kind of interesting. All right, you got a door right here. That does open up easily. It's so cool, man. This is awesome. Are you ready for this? So this side does open up. Yeah, can you see that? It's a working engine. Watch when I move this thing. Look at that. Look at the engine working, boys. That is just amazing. What's great is on the other side, which actually is exactly the same on this side. You can see the engines moving up and down. I was stunned, man, to see how durable and easy it was to put on. Seriously, this part excited me like a little boy. Everything works really well, man. Then we come to this, the prop part here and the back, there's two of them. And like I said, these parts here do replicate each other. This piece here, there's four pieces that sit here, really fragile. That's the only thing I had to nitpick about this. It can pop off. You gotta be really, really careful when you're putting this on together. And, but it is quite easy to take it off, repair it, put it back and slap it on. And you got the rudders back here. I kind of wish the rudders were the same color as the rest of the build. It kind of throws me off when it's like light gray and everything else looks so freaking shiny and beautiful. And you saw earlier, the props do move. And that is awesome. Yeah. Check out this rocket launcher back here. At least I think it's a rocket launcher. Looks pretty cool though. Fires perfectly fine. It almost looks like Bender from Futurama, his face. What you doing there, Bender? Shut up, you got it. I can't do his voice. You can shoot these things off. Let's see if I can fire at the camera, ready? Pow, yeah, almost. Pow, yeah, pow. Very cool indeed. And then we'll rotate this around, flip it around for you guys, because you know, it's a little bit different here. This part's still the same. If I open up here, you can see it working again. Yeah, we have to do it this way. Look at that. Man, I'm so happy just showing this to you guys. Does this open up? It sure does. Let's see what's inside. Whoa, and I have a back door here. Let's open this up here. Yeah, look at that. This is like a storeroom. You do have a radar screen there. Kind of old school, but that's okay. Got another fire extinguisher, I guess. The black box and some green barrels. There's nothing there. They're just like decoration. Okay, we'll close this up. That is awesome. And you got two boys on the other side and then you got the ladder that comes up to the top there. I'm not quite sure what this is. Maybe another tank and you know, these maybe chimneys, I'm guessing. That is actually a pretty cool shark emblem. And it's also on the minifigures on their outfits. Pretty neat. And finally, you have this gunner machine thing here. Look at that, it rotates. You know, I don't know how the guy's gonna stand trying to control this, or maybe it's being controlled on the inside, who knows? And you have two mailbox looking containers here. They could have just put one. They had to put two, because this thing needs more. And finally on the center, there's nothing there. And okay, so I nitpicked about the prop parts. I will nitpick a little bit more. Like I said, these plates can flex, and it's actually really hard to push down. But there's some pockets, like air pockets, that when you push down, some of the pieces might not fit perfectly. Some might be harder to, to push down than others. And sometimes you might see pieces here and there kind of lift off. But yeah, you know, that's just like minor stuff. But if I, if, I don't know if I can flip this thing on the side, show you guys. I'm scared this thing's gonna fall apart. You know what, just for you guys, I'm gonna flip this to the side so you guys can kind of see, hopefully nothing falls apart. But there you go. It's a sturdy shell, man, it is sturdy. But like I said, there are some pockets there like that don't have studs. So if you're gonna push down on parts here and there, it might flex a little bit. But it's like minor, man, this thing holds up pretty good. And that's it. Whew. I think I'm just gonna keep this for myself, man. You know what, I wonder if I can fit some tanks on here. Let's see how many tanks we can put on this thing. Here's the Zingbo tank I reviewed. Did you guys watch that one over here? Yeah, look, it fits perfectly in there. This is the Panlos tank. I was supposed to review for you guys, but I'm waiting for Sean to come back. And can we fit two in there? It's a little bit tight in here. You can probably fit two smaller tanks in here. This one might be a bit of a stretch. You know, this might have to close there, but look at that. This thing is ready to go into battle. So we pull this out and go drop this down. This goes down and yeah, ready to roll out the tanks. Slide this back a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Number two. 
It's more suited for the Jingbao tanks, you know, smaller. The scaling of this one is huge. We'll put this aside there. This one aside. This set does come with six minifigures. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick out random people who have commented on my video. So here we go. Scuba Dude. Printing is actually pretty cool. He's got the shark emblem on there. That's rad. And on the back, he's got the tank and he's got his snorkel goggle mask there. Very nice indeed. Dr. McBrick, there you are. Yeah, thank you for supporting the Oxford Blocks and looking forward to seeing your fixed ale grow. Go check out his channel, guys. Actually, pretty cool. Then you got this guy. He's like a sergeant, right? Angry. Urgh, look at him. The printing on these actually look pretty okay, to be honest with you. He's got a little bit of blood going down his leg there. Hope he's okay. I like his holster pack. That's actually pretty neat. And that is John Jones. Hopefully, you don't have any more earthquakes where you're at. This set will certainly survive. And we got this guy who has kind of a smirk. I like his Boy Scout looking print there on the front. The shark emblem's cool on the sleeve. And he's got printing on the back as well. But he looks perfectly fine. Printing looks really good. I like it. And I like how the helmet kind of has like a real shiny smear to it. Nice. And that is Patrick Muller. Enjoy your urban villages. Glad you like that super old video. I really should do an updated version on that. And we got this guy with a beard, mean looking beard. He looks like he's the boss of this whole gang. Again, shark emblem on the side of the sleeve. I like the printing on the front there. Looks more like a cop. And this is Ui Kastner. Ui, did I say your name right, man? Well, there you are. You're the leader of the ship. Looking cool. Now go command your crew. Then we got this soldier here. Again, shark emblem on the side. He looks really good. I like the printing on the front there. Multiple pockets printed on there. On the back as well has a scarf tied up. That looks very cool. And he looks kind of confused. Don't know what he's doing. Anyway, that is MKKU Miku. Miku, there you are. Last but not least, we got this guy. He kind of looks like he's happy to be there. And he's kind of got the same printing as the other soldier with a Boy Scout look to him on the front. Multiple pockets on the back. Shark emblem on his sleeve. But he has this funky hat. There's no attachment to it. But anyway, cool hat. And that is Andy Sone, Andy or Andy Sone, Andy Sone from Germany. Greetings, hope you're well. All right, now go drive this hovercraft. All right, you guys, it's Dimension Times, 32 by 32 base plate. Man, look at this hunk of junk, pretty big. If I try to like do my best to estimate it from front to back, it's actually longer than two base plates. It's a little bit more. The total studs there should be about 70 studs in length. Now for the width here, it is still longer than a 32 by 32 base plate. I'm kind of just guesstimated there. And you know, if I had to really guess, it would be 38 studs by width. Yeah, there you go. Just so you guys get an idea. This thing is big. All right, now onto the height. All right, break out your one by four bricks to check the height. And of course, if I do it by the antenna there, look at that, woohoo, just barely hit that. That is 24 studs in height. Without that antenna in the way, if you want to just kind of know roughly from here, that is, look, just fits there. 17 bricks in height. That is your dimensions. So there you guys go. This is Ding Bounce Amphibious Transport Ship. You like the sound of that? Amphibious man, hovercraft. They just should have just called it in hovercraft. All right, now it's time to go edit all these videos for you guys. And I'll be back with more. I promise you, I will be back. All right, you guys, don't forget, this is available on bigmeupscotty.com. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and watching these. I'll come back with more. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell. I'll try to be faster with some of these videos if I can. I hope I can. You know, I'm trying my best. Until next time, you guys, pick me up. Pew, pew, pew bang, pew, boom. Zimbao, can you please tell the designer of the T92 tank to just study this and build a better tank? Cause this thing is legit, man. I'm not even a military guy and I'm loving this thing. But yeah, this is solid, man. It's not going anywhere. I'm pounding this, pound the alarm. Scotty, what are you doing to me? Well, sorry guys, once again, the adventures of Deer and Scotty have to stop for now. Big Scotty's on tour. So we're only here to give you a quick tour of this set so you get an idea about the minifigures in size comparison. Ain't that right, Scotty? Why, Big Scotty? Why do you have to stop now, man? I was just getting into this, this sword fighting stuff. That's uh, all good.
Well, dear, we might as well just check out this hunk of junk. What kind of music should we play in the background? Um, something less dramatic. Uh, let's do some hip hop. Yeah, that sounds good to me. All right, you guys, just enjoy these shots and have fun and see if it's for you, right? Yeah, right, dear? That's right. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys later. See ya. Yo, I like that guy's scuba gear. Wonder where he's going. That guy actually looks kind of cool. Hmm, I wonder what that guy's doing inside there. I wonder if they have food inside there. They got any food? Is them. No, these guys ain't talking to us. Yo, dear, check out that guy, man. Got big guns. <laughs> nice shooting, man. Yeah, that thing shoots pretty good. Good job. Hey, Scotty, why aren't they talking to us? Wow, well, Scotty, that's a really impressive engine, man. Maybe we should steal this car and get to those campers. Be a lot faster. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. Scotty, what are we doing? Why are we marching down this thing? I don't know. That guy in the middle is marching. You might as well march along with him. Man. Man, this thing just keeps on going forever. Ooh. This room is really nice. Hey, Scotty. Man, maybe I should learn how to drive this thing. Go for it, dear. It's all yours. I'm going to practice the gun over here. Oh, yeah. What you guys still doing here, man? Go to sleep. Hope you're waking up. Have a good day at work. Or a good day at school. Or a good day having your retirement. I don't know. Or have a good time building this thing. Yeah. One more time.